What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast and today we are enjoying some lovely summer-like weather in Pennsylvania and on Friday we are going to be taking the Camaro out to the drag strip for some grudge racing. Now the last time I was at the track the tech guys kind of gave me a little bit of trouble for having suction cup mounted GoPros in my car. I couldn't even have them inside or on the body or anything like that. So that kind of made me think well what can I do to have a permanent mounted GoPro mount because that was what they were asking for. So on the front of the Camaro, I have an American Authority tow hook, which is fairly inexpensive. You can get them on their website. But if you don't want to spend the money on a tow hook, the Camaro does come with one, and this should work in the same way. So a couple things you're going to need is just your standard solid rubber hockey puck. You can get these for about $2. Also, you're going to need your standard tripod mount for your GoPro, and this does not come with the little T-bolt screw, but if you run GoPros, you'll probably have 100 of those laying around. So then you're able to just kind of put your mount in this and point it whichever direction that you want. You can get these on Amazon and I will have a link in the description for these as well. The next thing you're going to need is a quarter inch bolt. Now I went for a stainless bolt because I didn't want it to have any rusting or anything like that. And I wanted it to be able to withstand some weather if we ever ran into that. And a quarter inch flat washer just to go on the bottom to give us a little bit extra support. And I got this from Lowe's. It's pretty standard stuff. You can just go down there and pick that up. What I did is I brought this with me to make sure that the right thread and everything was there. And the bolt itself is an inch and a half long. So basically I have about $2 in the hockey puck. I probably got less than a dollar in the bolt and the washer itself. And the mount, like I said, is about six, seven dollars for a pack of three. So on the safe side, we could probably say we have around three, two to three dollars into that. So for under six dollars, you've got a pretty awesome mount that's gonna be pretty durable. So let's get it built. So we've got our hockey puck in the vise on the back of the service truck. So you could probably clamp this to a bench or any kind of way that you need to if you have a little workshop. But this is the best way for me to hold this in place. And what I'm gonna do is just cut a little piece off the back here. So when I do put it on my particular tow hook, it's gonna be able to be centered on there and not have the back of it kind of sticking up on the hinge. Now, if you have a bandsaw, it's probably gonna be a way better way than doing it this way. But this is the crude and easy way to do it. All right, as you can see, we got a pretty straight cut. I might've cut a little bit more than I had to off this one, but it's not really gonna matter for our purposes. Next, we're gonna cut our hockey puck in half. And there we go, a precision cut. So obviously there is a million ways you can cut a hockey puck in half. I think a bandsaw would probably be the easiest and possibly the cleanest, but Sawzall was the first thing that I saw and you know what, it works so you can use whatever you'd like. So now we've got both halves clamped in the vise. We're gonna take our quarter inch drill bit and our cordless drill and we're gonna drill a hole so we can get our bolt to come up through the bottom and then we can tighten down our camera mount. So now before you drill this hole, just keep in mind that there is gonna be the ring sandwiched in between so you don't want your hole to interfere with that. So I think we should be pretty safe right about here. Just like that. So here I have my factory tow hook, keeping in mind that not everybody has a tow hook for their Camaro. And we're gonna put our two halves together with our bolt and our camera mount and show you the finished product. Okay, so what I did is I just kind of pushed the bolt through the hole that we drilled with the washer on the back side, and it kind of gives you that stud sticking out the top. And then what we're gonna do is take our camera mount and thread that right onto there. And this is gonna hold this all in place. And there we go. And since this is rubber, you're actually able to tighten this down fairly tightly because it's gonna kind of suck down into the hole of your tow hook and it's not gonna be able to come loose. And if you want to, you can actually drill a hole the other way and put a mount on the bottom as well if you wanna have a different angle or something like that for two GoPros. So this is just my quick little DIY on how to have a permanent GoPro mount on your car. If you do get hassled by tech for having suction cups and things like that, this will get you by. And it's $6, under 10 minutes. It's pretty simple and easy. You can use it on all different types of brands as long as you have a tow hook. So hopefully it helps you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for future videos. We have plenty more action to come here on Hammerdown Motorsports. So as always, keep that hammer down. Oh, my God.